G'day guys, Steve from Dirt Bike ADV here. Um, it's way in time for the 690. If you follow the channel at all, you'll know that I uh, got a 2015 Beta 480 and turned it into a, a bit of an ADV bike. Um, put a tower on it, a bigger tank, a rack and that sort of stuff and rode that for a fair while as, as an ADV bike. Found it a little bit limiting on the longer stuff and um, decided to go to a two bike policy. I bought a, a Beta 390 and I bought this 2018 690. Now with the 480, obviously I weighed it full of fuel with 300k range. That's a, an idea that came from Nerd One, an Australian YouTuber. And we also derived um, leaning the bike over and seeing how much it was to pick it up as well. So I called that the lean value. So this is a 2018 690. It's got the B&B rear rack and the B&B bash plate. Um, it's got some titanium pegs, Cherby's handguards, the Rade A tower on it, or half the Rade A tower, and uh, a Rade A 6 litre fuel tank in it as well. Unfortunately, I was weighing this on my industrial scale um, on a hydraulic lift jack and it fell off, poof, Smash my windscreen, so not happy, Jan. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, um, yeah, it's one of those things. It just uh, just fell over, and I couldn't grab it in time. So um, yeah, had to sort of sit down and regather my thoughts for a while and um, grab some coping mechanism. I think beers. I think we would agree is the cheapest coping me mechanism you can get. So yeah, grabbed the beer and uh, then went back to the bathroom scale method. So <laughs> obviously, I'd, I'd wreck my scale doing that. Um, bathroom scale underneath the front wheel, bathroom scale underneath the back wheel, add the two values together, come up as uh, about 161, 162 kilos, so that's the weight of the bike with 15 litres of fuel in it. Um, and then I did the lean value, so the bathroom scale over on a, on a, on a milk crate or a bath, uh, uh, sorry, a uh, motorbike stand, and the lean value, so you just sit the, the uh, handguard onto the scale, and that's, you know, from sort of at this height, picking the bike up, the lean value was 50 kilos. So pretty good, um, pretty low center of gravity for this bike. So pretty impressed with that. So that's it, 160 kilos, uh, 15 liters of fuel and 50 kilos to pick it up from, you know, down near the ground, not sitting on the ground, but down near the ground. That's just the way that Nerd One did it. And I reckon it was a great method. So there you go, there are the numbers. But um, I'm gonna diverge a little bit now, guys. Um, I'll never ask you guys to um, subscribe to my channel or hit the notification bell or any of that stuff. Um, I'm only doing this for myself. Um, it's not about getting, um, you know, making a living out of YouTube or anything like this. As I said in one of my videos, I used to keep quite detailed photo albums and, uh, and like going still to this day, like going back through those photo albums and it's a, it's a, it's a record of history, you know. And, um, and so I decided to start up um, a YouTube channel for that very reason. Um, so it's really about me going places and doing things that I want to do and just simply taking a camera with me. And when I get home, I, I dump it into a YouTube clip. So it's, that's how it all started and that's how it will continue. But um, inadvertently, about eight months ago, sort of not long after I'd started, my brother and I were talking on the phone and he said he was starting up a YouTube channel. I went, oh really, I've got one going, I just started it up, blah, blah, blah. And we got talking. Anyway, as uh, I'm sure if you've got siblings, you'll understand, uh, we ended up having a little bit of a wager, so a little bit of a bet. So we both vowed then we were, we were gonna get to a thousand subscribers and the first one to a thousand subscribers the other one has to pay him a thousand dollars. So we've got a little bet going. Now, um, again, if you've got siblings and that, you'll know how much pleasure there is in, in kicking your siblings' butt. It's 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 good fun. It's a good sport. And so far, I am actually kicking his butt. So I'm just going to ask a little favour if I could. Um, he's got a channel called Get Going. That's G E T G O W I N. And he started up a channel um, sort of uh, all about minimalist camping and just keeping it simple and going out in the Australian bush and camping. He's doing, he's gonna do a little bit of canoeing um, and a bit of hiking and that sort of stuff. So sort of similar to what we do. We talk a lot about tents and sleep bags and keeping it light and that sort of stuff. So that's been really good. Unfortunately, he's my brother and I do love him, but he's a bit of a trendy sort of guy and uh, he's got a checkered blue shirt. You'll recognize it straight away. I think that's a, Hugo Boss shirt, I think it's probably worth a thousand bucks or something like that. And he, yeah, he's a bit of a trendsetter, drives a little Scooby-Doo, you know, Subaru, so to speak. And uh, yeah, he's got all the latest gear. Um, so yeah, he's a uh, bit of a trendsetter, likes his latte. I think he has a double decaf soy latte with, 
a chai sourced from sustainably from the southern side of the Andes Mountains or something like that. And he doesn't eat sacks of salt, he has the bloody Himalayan rock salt and the special pepper that's sourced from the dung beetle in South Africa or something like that. So a bit of a trendsetter. But anyway, he's all right. Forgive him, he's my brother, so I still love him. But uh, yeah, he can be uh, a bit of a trendsetter at times. So forgive him for that. But he does make very good videos, very cinematic. Uh, <laughs> polar opposite to mine really um, and he can he's just bought himself a drone and he's got some really good footage from that starting to go now as well so go over there I'm feeling sorry for him because I'm kicking his ass so far I think I'm up to about 150 and he's languishing at a 50 so uh, yeah please go over and just give him a little bit of a like just a bit of encouraging for it don't get too carried away I don't want him getting too close to me but just a couple of likes a couple of thumbs up maybe a comment or whatever you do I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with YouTube Go over to get go in and um, and uh, yeah, just just encourage him a little bit because I'm feeling a bit sorry for him. It's no good when your younger brother kicks your ass like this. Like I'm nearly triple his figure, so no good, no good for his sort of self-esteem really. So anyway, head over there, guys. It is actually a good channel and uh, just in, give me some encouragement if you like. If you like, uh, if I could just ask one more little favour. If he starts to catch me, then go go over there and unsubscribe and put some bad comments in or something like that. Just, let's just make sure that the Dirt Bike channel wins, eh? Anyway, guys, I am waffling on and um, look forward to, uh, um, you know, getting out over the next couple of weekends. As I say, there's a long weekend coming up. So, yeah, we'll get out there and um, get some ride videos, not stuck in a shed for a change. And, um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, have some camping and riding. I'll get this baby out. I'm really looking forward to it. I'll obviously have to order a new screen. But, um, yeah, uh, and then we'll uh, have some camping videos and, and, and see a bit of scenery around Australia, this beautiful country we live in. Anyway, guys, enough waffle from me, as I say. Thanks for watching, and we'll hope to see you out on the trail soon. <laughs>